Okay, so we're starting with some clay. Um, this is my paper coffee ground fantastic concoction. Um, oh, I'm going to roll it out using a multi purpose rolling pin that I have. Bam. You see that it's been used for a paper or a painting project that also did so dual purposes with the uh, roller and I'm gonna see if I can do it the lazy way sitting down otherwise I'll stand up and do it but usually that's the preferred yeah I'm gonna stand just the preferred method because that way you get the pressure that you want okay this table is really wobbly so the camera's gonna wobble with it What I'm doing is I'm rolling it out so I can thin it and uh, I kind of flip it around a couple of times. So I get it to the desired thickness that I want. And then we'll go to step two, which is I'm going to mold it over a mold instead of pressing it inside. Um, and then I'm going to connect the two. This will become, I still haven't decided if it's going to be a lamp, but I'm kind of leaning in the lamp direction. Um, but again, we'll see. I kind of like to let my pieces speak to me and evolve. So... Sometimes, and then sometimes I'm just going for a specific thing. So, okay, excellent. Oh, I just love that. Okay, I think that's, yeah, I don't want it any thinner than that. So, now, now I will begin, and I might, well, let's see. Oh, perfect. I'm starting out this way, and I might just kind of add, oh, perfect. I like the way that, so what I did is I just pressed that up against the outer edge there, and then I'm going to continue by pressing this along the outer edge. And then I just, just realized something. I'm going to have to do a two-parter to that because that's not going to come off. Well, we'll see. Yeah, I'm thinking that's what I'm going to have to do. Anyway. So. I'll start here. And the thing I love about clay is you can kind of... It's malleable. You can pinch off and place in areas that need it and just kind of create as you go. And me being very tactile and, and it's really weird. I have a love-hate relationship with getting stuff on my hands, which is why when I first started working with clay, people were like, you don't like it and stuff on your hands. I'm like, yeah, but it's Weird. I'm okay with this. So anyway, so here we are. So this is the beginning of that. And I've covered my other piece to that this is going to be attached to. I'm just keeping it kind of in fact I might want to split it. I'll do that since I'm unwrapping it here. Yeah, because that's getting a little a little dry so I get my handy dandy water bottle and spritz it up a little bit to moisten it. I don't need to do it too much though. I don't want to go get it too wet. So when you're adding parts, when you're connecting two different parts, you 
want to keep them in the same wheelhouse. So you want them, you don't want one section to be drier than the other because that can cause problems with cracking later on. But this will this will be fine. So here we are with that. So I guess this will make the video that'll be part three that I'm doing here. Alrighty. So that's that. And now on to the next step.